Welcome to the video lecture for section 6.3. This is sampling distributions and estimators. And so what we're going to do here is consider the concept of a sampling distribution of a statistic. Now, instead of working with values from the original population, we're going to focus in this section on the values of statistics, such as sample proportions or sample means that are obtained from the population. Now, when the samples of the same size are taken from the same population, two properties apply. The sample proportions tend to be normally distributed. And the mean of the sample proportions is the same as the population mean. Now, number two is a really important uh, result. And so in this illustration, we can see that we take our sampling procedure, right? So random selected n values, so that our sample size is n. And then we're going to find the proportions p hat for each sample. And then you can see that we'll take sample ones, two, and three, and so on and so on. Now, what happens is that when we take those sample proportions and we were to uh, graph them, the uh, distribution of the sample proportions will follow a normal uh, curve. And so again, the sample proportions tend to have a normal curve. Same thing with the mean, right? We randomly select n values and we find the mean x bar for each sample. And then we, if we were to graph uh, each of the samples, right, x1, x, x bar 1, x bar 2, etc., et the distribution of the sample means tend to have a normal distribution. Also with the variances, right? So we select n sample, n values. Uh, we find the variances S squared for each uh, sample. Now, for this particular case, the distribution of the sample variance tend to be skewed. So they don't uh, actually have a, uh, a normal curve. They don't follow a normal curve. Now, the sampling distribution of the statistics, such as a sample proportion or sample mean, is simply the distribution of all the values of the statistic when all possible samples are the same size and are taken from the same population. Again, the sampling distribution of a statistic is typically represented as a probability distribution uh, and a probability histogram or formula or table. So what this means is that we have a population and let's say we take a sample size of 50 and we take 1,000 samples of size 50 from the population and when we graph those, they will uh, follow a normal curve. The more samples you take, uh, the more close it's going to be to a normal distribution. Now, sampling distribution of the sample proportion is simply the distribution of the sample proportions or the distribution of the variable p hat. Now, all the samples have to have the same size uh, and have to be taken from the same population. So, some notation. Uh, p is simply the population proportion. Uh, for example, if we say uh, what uh, proportion of the popular of Americans uh, support legalizing uh, marijuana, if we were to say, uh, take ask that question for all adults in the United States, that would be the population proportion. Let's just say it's fifty percent. Now, if we take a sample of twenty five hundred people and find a proportion of the twenty five hundred people that were sampled that support legalizing marijuana, that would be p hat. Now remember, population uh, values are parameters, sample values are uh, statistics. So behavior of the sample proportions, the distribution of sample proportions tend to be approximate, tend to approximate a normal distribution. Sample proportions target the value of the population proportion in the sense that the mean of all the sample proportions p hat is equal to the population proportion p. So the expected value of the sample proportion is equal to the population proportion. In other words, um, if I take uh, X amount of samples uh, of the same size, um, whatever the value, the, whatever the, the mean, if you will, of the, uh, the p hat, if I take all the p hats uh, that I have, they're going to be equal to what the population proportion is. And so here's an example of rolling the die five times. Uh, so final proportion of odd numbers. So we're looking for one, three, and five. And so what happens here uh, is that when I roll it five times, final proportion of odd numbers. So here's 10,000. So they did this 10,000 times. Uh, now, the true sampling distribution of the sample portion involves the pro repeating the process indefinitely. And you can see that um, in this case, they took 10,000 uh, samples uh, and the proportion are approximately normal. And the, the actual proportion, the population proportion is 0 0.5 for the distribution of the sample proportions ended up being 0.5 also. And you can see here how that worked out in this uh, particular um, diagram. Now, the sample distribution of the sample mean 
is simply the distribution of all possible sample means, or the distribution of the variable x bar, with all the samples having the same size and taking from the same population. So a couple of things, they have to be the same sample size, and they have to be taken from the same population. So if we're sampling uh, American adults, we have to take the sample, let's say, of 2,500 from adults that are Americans. We can't switch it up and go to Canada or Mexico or any other country because it, it just won't work. Another thing is, if we start off with a sample of 2,500, we have to take 2,500, a sample of 2,500 every single time. So behaviors, the distribution of the sample means tend to be a normal distribution. The sample mean target, uh, the value of the population mean. So again, consider the, repeating this process. Roll die five times to randomly select five values on the population. So the, the, the sample space, if you will, is, is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna find the mean of the results. So what do we know about the behavior of those sample means that are generated as this process continues indefinitely? So here, we can see that the, this figure illustrates the process of rolling the die five times and find the mean of the results. So the mean, of course, distribution of sample means will be approximately normal. The mean, the population mean, if I roll a die, uh, it's about 3.5, it, it is 3.5. And so if I do this 10,000 times, the, the sample, the, the mean of all the samples will in fact be 3.5. Now you can see that one sample has 3.4, mean of 3.4, one is 4.4, one is 2.8. So they will deviate from 3.5, but when you put them all together, not only do they make a normal curve, but uh, the mean of the distribution of, of the sampling mean would be uh, 3.5. Now, because the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are all equally likely, the population has a mean of 3.5, the 10,000 samples including the figure also have a mean of 3.5. So if this process continues indefinitely, the mean of the sample means will be 3.5. Now. The sampling distribution of the sample variance is simply the distribution of the sample variances, S squared, with all samples having the same sample size taken from the same population. So the same restrictions apply if we're doing the sampling distribution of the sample variance. Here are the formulas for the population standard deviation and the population variance. Remember, sigma is the population standard deviation, sigma squared is the population variance. If we were doing a sample, it would be S and S squared for the variance. So what's the behavior? The distribution of the sample variances tend to be a distribution skewed to the right. The sample variances target the value of the population variance. So we consider this process again. We roll a die five times and find the variance S squared of the results. And so what happens is the population variance sigma squared is actually 2.9. So if we roll a die, uh, the variance of rolling the die five times is 2.9. If we do this 10,000 times, uh, the distribution of the sample variance will also have a sample of variance, if you will, of 2.9. Now, although it's skewed, uh, the variance, the, the variance of the distribution of the sample variance will target the population variance. And this is what I said here. Now, an estimator is simply a statistic used to infer or estimate the value of the population parameter. Unbiased estimator is a statistic that targets the value of the corresponding population parameter in the sense that the sampling distribution of the particular statistics, either the proportion, the mean, or the variance, sample variance, has a mean that is equal to the corresponding population parameter. So, again, unbiased uh, estimators would be the, the proportion p hat, mean x bar, and variance s squared. Biased estimators uh, do not target the value of the corresponding population parameter. And that would be the median, the range, and then the standard deviation. Now, why sampling with replacement? Sampling is conducted with replacement because there are two very important reasons. When selecting a relatively small sample from a large population, it makes no significant difference whether we sample with, re with replacement or without. Now, sampling with replacement results in independent events that are unaffected by the previous outcome. And independent events are easier to analyze and result in simple calculations and formulas. So remember, if I have a deck of cards, I have 52 cards, I take one card out, I note it, I put that card back into the deck, I shuffle it again and I choose another one. So the probability of choosing the second card does not change because I'm still choosing from 52 cards as opposed to 51 or 50 if I do not replace them. And that's the end of 6.3, thank you.